Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 20th video in this series and today we will create a timer. We will first create a timer, then a timer with an alarm, after that a repeating timer, and finally a repeating timer with a set amount of break time. The timestamps are in the description below. So let's get started. We're going to start creating a timer by creating a file called timer.py. Then we're going to import the module time. We're going to set a variable t and set that equal to an integer. And the user is going to input how many minutes to set the timer for. Then we're going to multiply it by 60 to convert the minutes into seconds. Then we're going to create a while loop, while t. And we don't need while t is greater than zero because when while t equals zero, that will be false. So it will exit the while statement then. So while t minutes equals t floor division 60. So this will round down and divide by 60 to get the accurate number of minutes. Seconds equals t modulus 60. So this will get the remainder of 60. So it knows how many seconds. Then we're going to set a timer and set it equal to this. And the 02D just means two digits. And you can get this by looking up the format online. Then we're formatting it in minutes, comma, seconds. And then we're going to print the timer. And then we're going to do time dot sleep for one second. So that's going to wait one second. Then we'll decrease T by one. And then when this is finished, we're going to print timer and we're going to run this now and you'll see it inputs a new time on every single line. To fix this, we're going to print timer and do comma end equals end quotes backslash R. This is the carriage return. So what this will do now when we run it, it will go to the beginning of the line. So you'll see here when we run it. We're going to input a timer for one minute like before. Now it's one minute. It changes to 59, 58 and so forth. Every single second it continues to count down. And then at the end it will print timer. Wouldn't it be cool though if you could play a sound? Well you can by importing the module play sound. And then I'm going to use the alarm by saying play sound dot play sound. And then the file name alarm.mp3 and it knows alarm.mp3 because we have the file inside this folder. If it's not inside the folder, we would need to see what directory it is in and then put the directory in there. When we run this, we will get an error because we don't have play sound installed. To fix this, we're going to type pip install play sound into the command prompt if you're using Windows or into the terminal if you're using Mac. If you don't have pip installed, you can do sudo easy install pip and then just enter your password and that will install pip. Then you can install play sound from there. And now that we installed pip and play sound, it should now work. And one thing to note, for the file path, you cannot have a space in your folder such as tutorial space 20 for play sound to work. You need to replace that space with an underscore. And now when we run it, it should work. And I'm going to input one for one minute like before. And it's going to start a countdown every second. And I'll come back when it's close. And there is the timer. So it successfully works. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we could have a repeating timer? Well, we can do that as well. I'm going to create a new file called timer repeat. And if you wanted the timer to repeat every minute or every 15 minutes, you could do it this way. So I changed the input statement. So input the number of minutes and input the number of times that they want to repeat. Then I'm going to create the variable T and set T equal to minutes time 60. Then using the while statement that we had before, I'm going to put a for loop outside of it and then do for i in range number. And then I put the while loop back in the for loop. 
and then we're going to go through the while loop every time we're going to want to reset t. 2 minutes times 60. So now this will run a set amount of times. For example, if we wanted to set a 1 minute timer twice, it would work and it would start counting down. I'm going to come back here when it's close and I'm going to show you what it does. And now the alarm is going to go off and then after the alarm is done, it continues and goes through the loop a second time. And that's how it works. Next, we're going to have a repeating timer that has time for you to take a break. A timer that repeats with break time is good if you wanted to do homework or work for a set amount of time, then have a set break time. And we can do that by adding a third variable and asking the user how long they want the break for. Then after the timer, I'm going to do time.sleep and sleep for the break time, which is a minute time 60 because time dot sleep is in seconds not minutes so it's gonna sleep for that long and then i'm gonna do an alarm again and then print your break is over so now when i run this the repeating break timer will work thank you so much for watching make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.